In this video, I'll show you how to use All-in-One SEO's cornerstone content to prioritize the SEO of your most important web content. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So you're probably wondering what is cornerstone content? Well, cornerstone content is content on your website that is crucial to the core of what your business or organization or blog is about. So if we take a look at the all-in-one SEO blog, at some of the recent posts that have come out, we have word count for SEO. Does it really matter? Well, we are a company that makes an SEO plugin. This is pretty crucial to what we are all about. So this could be a good candidate to mark as cornerstone content. The Beginner's Guide to Semantic SEO, also a good candidate. HTTPS and SEO, how website security impacts your rankings. This is also important, but it's not really crucial to the core of what we do. So maybe this would just be a regular piece of content, not cornerstone content. What is a plugin? The Beginner's Guide to WordPress Plugins. This is very basic, very helpful content to our users. We wrote this blog for a reason, but it's not crucial to the core of what All-in-One SEO is about. So we would probably not mark this as cornerstone content. Also, it's worth mentioning that if you mark everything as cornerstone content and everything is crucial, then nothing is crucial. So you have to be selective with what you want to mark as cornerstone content. So the first thing we're going to do is install the all-in-one SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on plugins and then click on the button that says add new. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the upload plugin button and then click choose file and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded and then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com slash account, make sure you're on the Downloads tab. And then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. And then we're going to paste the license key into the License Key field. Click Connect. And that's it. All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the Dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. So now that you've got All-in-One SEO installed, let's head on over to the Post section. In here, we have my demo site. Again, we're assuming this is a site about SEO. So we have this post entitled SEO Conference. We have the one below it called Test Puppy Post. We have one below it called Men's Basketball Shoes. Below that, the best WordPress image compression plugin. So there's a collection of content here. If we are operating under the assumption that this is a site about SEO, then obviously the basketball shoes, Test Puppy Post, are not pieces of crucial cornerstone content. Obviously, they're valuable. They still bring traffic to my site. I'm still going to do the best SEO job on them I can, but they're not crucial pieces of cornerstone content. So I want to mark the SEO conference post as cornerstone content. So let's go ahead and click on that post. And then when the WordPress editor comes up, we're gonna scroll down below the content to the all-in-one SEO setting section. We have our snippet preview, post title, meta description, for taking control of how our listing will look in the search results. And then below that, we have a section here called cornerstone content. So to mark a piece of your content as cornerstone content, it's very simple. Just flip the toggle switch to mark as cornerstone content. And then click the blue update button. And this piece of content is now marked as cornerstone content. And that's it, right? 
the video's over. Well, not exactly. Let's head back on over to the all posts section and I'll show you the two things that marking content as cornerstone content actually does on your website. First of all, in the post section, you may notice there's a new link here on the top called cornerstone content. So if I click on that, I can see all of the posts on my site that I have labeled as cornerstone content. They all have to do with SEO in some way or another. So the first benefit this gives you is instead of looking at all of your posts, there's 116 posts on my website. There's quite a lot of content. I only have six pieces of cornerstone content. There's no correct ratio. You may have more or less. Just don't mark everything as cornerstone content. But with this new filter, I can now see at a glance all of my cornerstone content, including details about its SEO. So I can see the best WordPress image compression plugins post here is scoring 97. But my other post about the SEO conference, which I have also marked as cornerstone content, has only scored a 62. This lets me know quickly at a glance which pieces of my most crucial content need the most work from an SEO perspective. That's the first thing it does. The second thing is if we head on over to the all-in-one SEO menu on the left and click on Link Assistant, and then scroll on down, and we're going to click See All Linking Opportunities. And then I'm going to click on the caret here next to how to set the SEO title and description format to expand those linking opportunities. Click on this one link suggestion, one outbound internal suggestion, and we can see that it's suggesting I link to this piece of content called sample page, which I have marked as cornerstone content. And we can tell because it has the cornerstone content icon. If I hover over that, I get more information about what cornerstone content is. So marking something as cornerstone content is going to give you an icon here in Link Assistant. And if I had a page with multiple linking opportunities, the cornerstone content linking options are going to be at the top of that list. So we indicate which ones are cornerstone content linking opportunities, and we prioritize them within Link Assistant. So you can use Link Assistant to create more internal links to the most crucial pieces of content on your website. So that's how to use All-in-One SEO's Cornerstone content. If you don't already have our awesome All-in-One SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video, as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to build internal links fast using Link Assistant. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.